My problem is I can't think of back that much other than Fox River. Well, what was it like going to Von Steuben High School? Oh, it was very much fun. When I went to Fox River, starting at about 12, 10, 12 years of age, it was very nice. I enjoyed it very much. And there I met my future wife. Really? Yeah. Well, how did you meet Aunt no, Adeline at Mont Steuben? You met in the country. Well, that's where Fox River is. <laughs> oh. But Gary's asking you about Von Steuben. Okay, oh, so you know, I told him the best I can remember is Ronald. Oh, I think I'm the one that's. Well, so you met Aunt Adeline in Fox River. I at thought you guys dance. met in Englewood. No, or no, that's at the where dance, she lived. At the dance hall. No, we didn't see her each oh. other until we got older, like 17 or 18 or something like that, during the winter. Okay, so you guys started dating when you guys were how old? 12, 13. No, that young? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. On a steady basis, too. It's that Maury Cohn or uh, Marty Friedman. Marty that Friedman, that's right. You remember him? No. Did no. I ever meet him? I know he could have been my father. No, never. That's who my mom no. broke up with. Oh, that was, can I move this over to Ricky for a second? Yes, um. hi, I'm here too. <laughs> um, yes, Marty Friedman. What was the other one's name, Dan? Maury Cohn. No, mom always talked about Marty Friedman. That, that she, she was, was engaged to somebody, wasn't she? Yes. It? And she broke oh, the man. She was dead, or she was going steady with someone. Cone, cone. Um, That's right. I knew about the idiots. Something cone. I forgot his first name. Cone Ed. <laughs> cone Ed. <laughs> okay, so. Do you know he, the cone heads? I remember the cone heads. Cone, she was engaged. So, Marty Cone. Marty Cone. Not Marty. It wasn't Marty, I don't think. I don't remember a Marty. But there was a cone. Some there was a Maury cone who was a friend, but he, he had an eye out for my... So how, now, how did you win your wife's heart? Your wife-to-be heart? By nature, my natural way of uh, romancing or entertaining or whatever. I'm a very smooth individual. Well, I'm you not know, bragging, but you know what? Go uh, the stairs. Yes. That Aunt Jay goes up to her room. Look at the two photographs on the wall as you go up. I know he was oh, a very right. good-looking, very good-looking man. You still are a good-looking guy, even yeah, though you're well, older than dirt. Yeah, but I got gray hair and I, I, I lost some weight, so. But you still. I'm not have, in but you still have a way about yourself that yeah, attracts well, women. Like I do, I, I love people. And I go outside. And, uh, when I was in uh, Altamont Springs, I had never been at a Perkins restaurant. And everybody says how great it is, you know. So one morning, I missed breakfast at Horizon Bay. So I went to Perkins. This was a Saturday morning, and in walks about 15 or 20 of the nicest black people that I've ever seen. And I couldn't resist asking them, what's this all about? <laughs> Somebody who was sitting close to me, at the table next to me, said this goes on every Saturday. It's a congregation from the church and we go the day before to celebrate. Mm -hmm. And that man over there is a preacher. And one thing led to another, he said, well, what do you do? I said, I'm in the lottery business. And I've been thinking about getting blacks and whites together by having a lottery dedicated to the both of them. 
a very inexpensive one. Each guy puts up five dollars a piece. And if they win, let's say a million dollars, they end up with a quarter million dollars each. And this is something in their budget. And he says, oh, he says, you should go over to the preacher and tell him. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> Little me. Because he was about six foot four. And I said, sir, I'm happy to meet you. And I shook his hand. I was telling some of your constituents about my interests on the lottery which I work at and the idea of making it very economical for whites and blacks who can't necessarily afford investing $25, they put, could possibly manage $5 to invest in a million dollar lottery. If they win, they get a quarter million dollars a piece. If they lose, um, it ain't necessarily going to break them. And he says, oh, that's a great idea. He says, why don't you come over to church and visit me? Did you? Hmm. I've been so busy. Number one, I forgot I lost his car, but I'll find him one Saturday morning. I said, go there every Saturday morning and tell them of my proposal. Because I would like the investment down. Even $25 is cheap to buy a lottery, but $5 would be better. And that's it. Okay.